Hello everyone, welcome to Creative Sweep TV. This week, we've got some magic tricks for you. We're going to be using Photoshop, but before then, I understand my introductions are a little bit boring. So I've decided I'm going to do a magic trick with this spoon. We're going to bend the spoon so you can see a perfectly uh, fine spoon and well I can kind of bend it a little bit like that. Wow, look at that, that's, that's a spoon. But what we're going to do though is by, I've got the spoon here, by simply rubbing the top of the spoon we're going to magically get it to bend. So I'm just, look at that, it's starting to bend now, rub the top, bend the spoon. Look at that! Easy for me to do with my brain, but it's more difficult to do in Photoshop. Or is it? We're going to do the spoon bending technique in Photoshop. I hope you really enjoy this episode of Creative Sweet Magic TV. Tricks, eh? Well, uh, since I did my little magic trick at the start there, there has been an incident with the spoon. Um, I didn't know uh, what to do. Uh, I've bent the spoon so much um, with my mind that it broke and and I was sitting down watching uh, Star Wars and it came to me Mike use the forks we'd run out of uh, spoons so that's exactly what I decided to do I've gone ahead and uh, photographed a fork uh, which we will use for our demonstration so I've done some little preparations here uh, put a new background in and used the complex selections uh, to generate a mask out of this fork. So we've cut the fork out um, and there we go. So we can move that around. We are ready to use the forks. How are we going to bend the fork? And I want to bend all the little, um, what do you call, prongs on, on the fork here. We want to create something a little bit more interesting than just a, just a, a plain fork. In the past, we might have tried using something like uh, the filter and liquify uh, filter, which is still fantastic. But now in CS5, we have the brand new puppet warp uh, option. So under the edit menu, uh, down to puppet warp. Now what puppet warp does is it throws a little grid over the entire object that you've cut out. So you, you want to cut uh, something out, um, but there you go. If you want to create a really complex um, grid here, you can see right at the top here, I'm just going to zoom on in, there is a density um, option there to be able to create fewer points. So it's a really bold um, curve. More points or just normal. And we think normal um, is perfectly okay here. We can expand out the area so we can extend our um, distortion grid beyond the shape that we've got, and we can choose to show or hide uh, the mesh as we see fit. As it stands at the moment, uh, we have no points in which, in order to bend our fork. All we need to do now is, I'll zoom in again, you can see there's a little push pin. We can just go ahead and click some points on our fork here, so that we can move them about. And I just go ahead and click. I'm actually going to put some points right on the ends of our little prongs here and also right at the base of each of the prongs to kind of lock them in place. Now these are the things now that let us bend the fork rather than the spoon. So if I want to bend the middle of my fork here I can grab that point and we can simply bend it down and create a really bendy looking uh, type fork. So that's that's something and we're all very happy with that. What if we want to bend all of these guys here? Well we can do that so I can actually take one at a time and bend them ar around like that and, and that's all really cool. If I want to bend them all at once, that's what I'm talking about, hold the shift key down, you can actually grab multiple points and then we can bend all of them so we can get a really bendy looking kind of fork like that or we can straighten them up bend it down this way it gives the fork a whole different appearance doesn't it so we can do that that's a very easy thing to you know okay it's 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 looking this way it's looking that way very easy shorten them even if you want little crunchy little fork will make 
really long I'm just having too much fun now so we can do that okay good good I want to not do that so I can then go and unselect them by holding the shift key down and we're going to zoom in and just concentrate on one of these um, little guys here you can see I've got it selected and we'll zoom in even a little bit further as I grab this one little prong here I'm going to drag it right over um, you can see it's intersecting with the other parts of the fork how can I control this and tell it okay this part of the fork needs to go either in front or behind those so those um, other parts of the graphic all we need to do is measure the pin depth and I'll zoom in because it's really tiny text we can set the pin depth here so that if we want that prong to be in front of the others all we do is we hit the raise pin depth button click and you can see now it's coming both and we can click it as many times as we need to to bring it in front of those other prongs and now that's sitting nicely in front and that's the sort of look that we're after if I want to bring it back down I can then bring this back down push it again push it again and eventually it will go behind all of the other prongs so it's just a matter of reordering things a little bit like bring to front send to back uh, with layers that you might find say in Illustrator or, or um, even in design so what we want to do though is uh, zoom back out here because we're, I'm just having a little bit of fun with the fork today we're just going to bend them around a little bit make it look pretty magical give this give the fork a good old bending create something a little bit wonderful don't forget after you're done any transformation in Photoshop you have to hit the commit button okay so that's what the tick button is called it's called the commit button uh, I like to really point that out because a lot of my female uh, watchers um, uh, find that very easily I'm really just pointing this out for the guys don't be afraid to press the commit button that'll get the job done there you go we've bent our fork just using Photoshop Hope you enjoyed this episode, this magical episode of Creative Suite TV.